Hi everyone, in this video I wanted to walk you through how to use Extra Normal to make movies. And I think what Extra Normal will be really good for is for uh, having students create role plays uh, because you can have one or two characters, uh, whether historical or presidential or Sarah Palin or uh, any of these, you can have uh, two characters so you can have them role play some debate. And, and I'm going to uh, show you how to do this. So I'm going to pick uh, this right down here and I'm going to say two actors just click on this and it opens up in a new screen so after a few seconds of upload time you'll come to this screen right here where you'll have uh, different actions over here you'll have a place to write the script and to decide which character is speaking at that moment and then this over here is the preview window and to add more dialogue you can just hit this little plus button and the plus will uh, add another dialogue space maybe for character one or for character two depending on how you want that to play out down here you can also uh, change the background so if I click this I can change the background to any one of these so let me scroll up a little bit and let's put this in uh, maybe a cafeteria or a store so I'll say apply and then I also want to talk about what character one looks like and character one will make character one uh, this person right here. I'll say apply and I'll make character 2 uh, this person right here. I'll say apply. You might be saying well why is it not showing up over here yet? Well what I have to do is whenever I update anything over on this side I have to hit action and it'll change it over here. So let me also add some uh, some text and some camera angles and such. So I'm going to add a camera angle by dragging it into that space. And when I put it into that space, it'll ask me which camera angle I want. Since character one's talking, I'm going to put it on them. So I'll say camera three. And I'll say, hello, my name is Mary. And now I'm going to add another script block. And it defaults to character two as if it's a dialogue going back and forth between them. I'll add a camera angle for that person and so let's put the camera on them and I'll say hello my name is Kathy now I'm gonna hit action now this takes a few seconds so when I hit action it's gonna go through the uh, different steps of converting the script and these different actions into a little movie preview it's taken a couple minutes but we're back with our video and the video has gone through the conversion process taking our script and converting it into this dialogue and let's see what it does now you can see that it was very short um, these two little uh, script blocks don't take very long the great thing is you have 20,000 different characters that you can include in your script which can be a very long dialogue if you if you choose I'm um, going back and forth from different script blocks to different script blocks adding different actions and different animations and so on now what do you do when you're done so this will take you a long time to develop something that's a minute or two so if you want to save you can say take five and it's going to save the project where it is and you'll be able to come back to it later if you're finished with it you can hit it's a wrap and this will publish your movie to extra normal so what comes up is a place for you to add a title and a description for your movie so I'm going to say tutorial and I'm going to call this a basic extra normal tutorial I'm going to say publish. Now, notice what it says. Your movie is currently being rendered. Please check back in a few minutes. Now, it could take, depending on the length of your movie, several minutes for you to finally see your finished work. Um, we're going to take a few minutes and come back when the movie's finished rendering. So here we are just a few minutes later, and our movie is finished rendering. So let's uh, take a look. I'm going to hit play. Now you can see from this there's a little bit of advertisements at the end, uh, but the quality of the video is much better than it was in the preview section. Now, what can we do with this? Well, besides playing it here, 
Uh, you see over in the corner here, there's a section where I can share the URL with someone else. I can also embed this code in other locations. So if I copy this embed code just by selecting all of it and right clicking and saying copy, I can take that code and place it other places. Now, what I've opened up over here is a discussion in Ning. So I can take this and just paste it right in there and say add reply. Now it looks like a bunch of gobbledygook. It looks like a bunch of just code and that's what it is. It's code that tells uh, different sites how to broadcast this information. And as soon as I hit add reply, the extra normal is now embedded into other locations, specifically the Ning here. So that's how you start an extra normal. You develop it uh, by adding script blocks and you eventually save it online and then you can embed it in other locations.